gorgeous. How good does that look? Microwave it? I don't think. It's her. <gasps> oh my fat! <coughs> anyway, cannot even tell the difference. you guys welcome back to my channel so today is a slightly I don't know kind of different video I know you guys love anything kind of cooking with me type videos like anything where I'm kind of cooking you guys love I I really love watching people cook and getting meal ideas and stuff like that and recently I don't know what it is I just got really like bored with the food that I've been eating, like, I don't know, I'm not excited. Maybe it's because we can kind of like go out a little bit more. I'm just like not wanting to cook as much. And also I've been thinking about for a while, as the title would suggest, trying more vegetarian substitutes. Not completely vegan. Um, A, a lot of vegan based products contain nuts as like a substitute in the sense for the protein and also for like the taste and the texture and the flavor so it is quite hard for me to go completely vegan and I don't actually necessarily want to do that but our, my sister is a vegetarian Jack is a vegetarian I'm not opposed to vegetarian substitutes and I actually really like them Hannah's obviously a vegetarian as well so in my food shop this week I was like do you know what I'm not gonna go to Tesco's and get the rotisserie chicken and you know, whatever else I usually get. I'm gonna get all vegetarian and plant-based foods. And I thought it would be a fun video to kind of try this out for a week and see, you know, how I get on with it, the recipes that I come up with and show you guys what I do in case you were thinking about this as well. I know there's a lot being sort of spoken about in terms of like the Seaspiracy documentary that came out in Netflix. I know there was one back in the day about like cowspiracy and stuff and like the whole meat industry in general is just a bit like, uh, and it's very easy to just turn a blind eye to it because you know you're only really seeing like the meat on in in the counter and like buying it and thinking nothing less of how it actually got there i don't know i just i i am someone that enjoys a bit of meat and i don't plan to completely cut meat out in the sense of it could be like a treat every now and then but if i can find meals that replace those meat ones and i really enjoy them why not? I feel like there's just something new that I want to try and for me to get excited about like cooking food again and maybe keep me more inside the house if I'm like excited to cook because I feel like just the whole of last week I just completely fell off like the good regime I was on because I was out and about doing things and not really thinking about like what I was eating, you know, but I feel like that is allowed. We, it was the week we were allowed back out, like literally watch me hibernate now um, and stay inside. But yeah, I feel like that was such a long-winded intro for me basically to say that this video is gonna be me. I'm gonna, I've literally just been to Tesco to pick up my order. It's all vegetarian and plant-based stuff. Um, just to show you guys what I got, a lot of the stuff that I got was recommended by you guys. Um, and then throughout the week, show you the vegetarian meals that I cook myself and what I think about them. And if you guys were thinking about maybe doing this, doing, trying it out, then maybe some inspo for you guys. So if you're liking the sound of this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you are new. We have got a bunch of new subscribers recently. <laughs> Don't know what that's about, but hello if you're new, make sure you turn the notification bells on. Um, yeah, so I feel like without further ado, this is my Tesco's haul, if you will. Um, yeah, let me show you what I got. Okay, so first things first, my mum used to get these all of the time, and I just thought, because I really like to just snack, that these might be nice, and they're kind of more like plant-based, I think they're like a little bit less calories they're like pea and bean sticks i don't know if you guys have heard of them like i said my mum used to get them all the time and i'd always think they were so weird but they're actually so good i had like a little nibble of these in the car these are the caramelized onion and balsamic vinegar flavor so good not that crisps and stuff are vegetarian or vegan but like i said i kind of was just Looking at more like plant-based things and these came up as a plant-based snack and it reminds me how much my mum used to get them and they were so good. What else did I get? Oh yeah, got my baby cucumbers. I love them. I love just kind of like slicing them up and just having them as a snack with like dressing. I love doing that. I got some grated carrots because I really have been loving um, making like spring rolls with like rice paper and just kind of loading them with vegetables. Um, I get this, I think this was in my last Tesco thing, um, the berry mix, cause breakfast I kind of like to have smoothies and stuff. And this is just a really good um, 
mix of fruit. It's got like strawberries, bananas, blackberries, cherries, blueberries, and red currant in them. I kind of like mixing granola with them as well. I'm kind of showing you all of the just kind of like basic stuff. I got some Caesar salad and a Greek salad kit just because I usually buy like a big bag of salad, but then I never like finish it or have the whole thing. So I thought if I buy these like ready-made salad, that's like one meal and then one meal. So I'm not like conscious of the fact that I've got this bag of salad in there and it's, you know, it's not got all the, like the fun bits in it that these have. I don't know the way that my brain works in terms of that, but love them. I feel like a Kardashian, you know, when they have their like salad bowls, um, that kind of vibes. Um, I'm just going through like the basic stuff. Like I said, some bananas, put that in the fruit bowl over there. Um, what else? An avocado. Do you guys keep your avocados in the fridge or in the fruit bowl? Because I feel like when I keep mine in the fridge, it, it doesn't ripen. So I'm gonna put that in the fruit bowl as well, but I feel like I'm gonna get people being like, oh my God, you have to keep it in the fridge. What else did I get? My classic protein thin bagels, love them. Let me just pop them away in there. Um, I also got some, these sounded nice, some sourdough charcoal and sesame seed crackers. I got that to kind of have with some smashed avocado dip. I also have um, hummus. I know you're probably thinking like, why did you buy smashed avocado and a whole avocado? And the answer is I don't really know. Now I'm thinking about it like, what? But I tend to like the avocado. Yeah, why did I do that? I mean, I'm gonna eat them both, but just some excess avocado. I feel like this just was like a, a ready-made dip that I could just take to the sofa with like my crackers that I was like, that just feels more appealing and more easy to use. Um, got some whole grain mustard. I love this for putting in like dressings if I make my own dressing. Although I did pick up the Mary Berries classic salad dressing and it does say vegan approved. I did, I literally didn't even read that. But um, that sounded good. Anything by Mary Berry, love her. I got some hummus. I love sugar snap peas as just like a snack. I could just eat them raw. My Again, my mum used to do that all the time. That's so good and again if i make maybe like a stir fry or something sugar snap peas are always so bomb broccoli roasted broccoli again i could just eat a bowl of roasted broccoli when you season it correctly i actually really love broccoli although i won't lie to you guys it do be making you very gassy and the gas that is produced is fat. <laughs> Like, it's not good, it's not good. But yeah, I got my normal milk. Um, I got some watermelon slices. And now on to the vegetarian meat substitutes that I got, which is kind of recommended by you guys as well as my sister. So I got some pulled pork burgers. These are all uh, Linda McCartney, as well as the vegetarian butcher. But I love pulled pork. Pork is actually one of the meats that I really don't eat a lot of. And it's mainly because I love like piglets like you guys probably see me following me on instagram like they just think they're so cute and like i always repost about them and if i was taken to a pocket pig farm like i'd probably cry because i just love them and hannah always makes me feel really bad she's like rachel like you always post about these pigs but then you eat like pepperoni on a pizza and i was just like oh my god you're so right or like i'll repost a little picture of a chick like a chick being like so cute and hannah would be like yeah but you eat chicken like a whole chicken like a roast chicken all of the time and i'm like you're so right, like I, f I almost forget that like, that's what I'm eating. Anyway, that's kind of like the main reason why I'm doing this. And I'm sorry if that's just made you guys think like, oh fuck, but actually no, I'm not sorry because that is the reality of it. But yeah, I got some pulled pork burgers. Um, not necessarily planning to have it maybe like in a burger. I feel like I'm planning to just have this on a plate with like rice and salad and like break it up and, and stuff like that. Like that's kind of normally what I do do with burgers. Um, I got some tomato and basil meatballs. Um, so many of you guys on Twitter recommended these to me and I love tomato and basil so I can't see myself not liking them. Um, also, I think my sister has had this before and I've tried it and I was like, do you know what? It's actually good and it's decent. Vegetarian shredded hoisin duck. Like, I am one for duck. Like, I love duck, like from the Chinese, like, loves it, trust me. If this is just as nice, then I'm so willing to give it a go. And like I said, I have been making a lot of like rice paper spring rolls, so I thought this might be nice with like shredded cucumber and stuff. Um, so I've got some of that. And then my sister has been raving about this so much. It's from the Vegetarian Butcher. It's called What The Cluck. And it is, yeah, their vegan vegetarian substitute chicken made from like soy, um, really high in protein. 
She was like, it, honestly, Rachel, it tastes just like chicken. So I'm willing to give this a go. I also already have corn mints and corn nuggets because I love both of them already. Like without going full veggie, I already have them in my freezer because they're so good and you can't taste the difference, especially in like a bolognese or something. The mints taste exactly the same. The texture is a little bit different. I feel like that's always what really sets it apart is yes, the texture is different, but in terms of taste, it tastes fucking good. And don't get me started on the corn nuggets. They are so, so good as well. They look and taste pretty much just like regular nuggets. So yeah, I've got that that I can throw into the mix. But I'm so excited to just like make some really cool meals out of these and let you guys know how they go and taste. Um, so yeah, I feel like the next time we speak, we'll be making one of my first meals. Not sure if that's gonna be tonight. I am going out for dinner tonight. Uh, or maybe it'll be lunch, but I'm actually not that hungry and it's already 20 past two. So we shall see, but yeah, the next clip will be me making some of this. Right, so first things first, I mean, this is pretty boring and I am actually gonna cook something later, I promise. Um, I've just got back from a PT session. I've actually got a lot of work to do, um, so I can't really afford um, to make myself a lunch. I'm gonna have like a late lunch later. I've got to make the most of the daytime outside because I've got to shoot some pictures. Also, look how pale I am. I've just scrubbed off all of my tan. Um, tanning routine coming soon on my Instagram. That tan literally just fell off of me in the sense of what I used to take it off. So I'm excited to show you guys. Anyway, um, so I thought I'm gonna try these crackers. Love a wee cracker, love our snack. It's snack mode right now. And I couldn't decide between hummus and smashed avocado, um, like guac, so I'm gonna have them both. But these crackers are really interesting, so let's do a little taste test. Ooh, this guac smells good. I'm literally trying to be moderate with the portions, I think. So I just took like a big spoon of both. Oh my God, I always forget how much I freaking love hummus. Right, so that's my snack. Low-key looks a bit weird, but I'm excited about these crackers. They're sourdough charcoal and sesame seed crackers with a hint of i'm guessing they're just kind of like seasoned with like salt and obviously the sesame seed Ooh, oh that yummy and they're literally 16 calories a cracker and i've had half a packet i've got one i mean i feel like it's pretty good something about like them being like a different color and something making it a little bit more exciting. I don't know, like I said, I'm trying to like switch things up, more plant-based things, a little bit healthier things. But yeah, this is like my, a perfect little snack on the go. Right, looking slightly more presentable now, we can actually do some kick. Can my phone just fuck up? Um, doing some cooking now, not just having crackers and hummus and that being the excitingness that is my vegetarianism this week, but does that even make sense? I don't know, anyway, I got my work out of the way, I can actually do some cooking, it's 4 p.m. So I feel like this is gonna be like my late lunch and I'm just gonna have like, I don't know, the rest of this salad bag for dinner. But what we are gonna make is this shredded duck. I'm in the mood for some duck. Um, I'm gonna have it with like shredded carrots. I'm gonna shred some cucumbers. I'm gonna use some of the lettuce from this because then I'll just, you know, use the lettuce later when I actually have a Caesar salad. And we're gonna make spring rolls uh, with this rice paper. Um, I tried to get rice paper in Tesco's. They did not have any. So I ordered these on Amazon like a while ago. Um, but yeah, these are so easy to make. You just put them in hot water and then wrap your food up in them. I'm gonna have it with like some sweet chili dip. I don't know, but I'm excited to try this vegetarian duck. It says that all you need to do is place a tablespoon of oil in a pan or wok and cook over a medium heat until oil is hot. Add the shredded duck and cook for seven to eight minutes, stirring regularly and then halfway through add 50 milliliters of water. So I don't know if I need to add my own seasoning. I wish I had, wish I had hoisin. That would be nice like in it and then I would feel like I'm literally having duck and pancakes. But um, yeah, this is the first on the list to try and I'm really, really excited. I've been loving these like rice paper spring rolls at the moment. Before we start cooking the duck, I'm gonna prepare all my vegetables and I'm gonna use this thing that I got from Amazon. It's literally the laziest thing ever, but it's gonna shred my cucumbers like really thin, basically to match the shreddiness of the carrots. Um, you could totally hand cut this, but I'm lazy at the moment and I'm just gonna use this and I'll show you how it works. So literally, I'm gonna take my little baby cube um, I've used this setting. Um, it comes with loads of different like shreddiness is. I've never used this one before, so let's see how it goes. Um, 
Oh, 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 I don't want to slice my fingers off. Ah! Ow! Okay, I think that's, well, that was kind of a little bit of a waste because. <laughs> okay, but that's exactly what I wanted it to do. Uh, love it. I'm not really sure how many pancakes I'm going to have. Let's just shred another one. Gorgeous. This is how it looks straight out of the packet. I'm assuming those instructions were if you're using like the whole packet. I feel like I should have used a wok. Um, and I might need a tiny bit more oil because I put what I thought was a tablespoon of oil in. I don't know why I didn't just measure it accurately. And it looked too much. So I was like, oh, I'll pour a little bit out. But now it's like this, I'm like, oh, maybe I needed some more, but been in for about a minute already, so I'll keep you guys posted when I'm halfway through. Okay, so it's been about four minutes. By the way, guys, this smells unreal. I'm now gonna add just 50 milliliters of water into this, as they said, and give it a wee, a wee, give it a wee little mix around. Did I already say that this smells amazing? Because it does. It smells so, so good. I've obviously made enough that I could either have it in a salad later or like, just have it another time, maybe in like a stir fry or something. And I say that because I was, you know, I said I really wanted like hoisin with this to make it feel like I was having like a proper like Chinese and pancakes. I've literally just found this in my like little thing of sauces. It's hoisin and garlic stir fry sauce. And I wasn't sure whether like maybe I should put that in there. Or should I just stick with the sweet chili and save this for like another meal with the duck? I think I'm going to save it, so never mind, but I'm so glad I know that that's there. Hoisin and garlic, yum. Um, so yeah, I'm going to let this finish cooking and then we can assemble the spring rolls. I'm trying to record you at an angle where you can like see everything that I'm doing. Um, so the duck, guys, I've actually tried a little bit. I mean, it's obviously not duck, but that's so good. So I am so excited about this. Okay, so we've got like our three stations. I'm gonna put some boiling water or just like hot water on this plate because you need to like warm these up to make them squishy and rollable. And I'm gonna put the, then the one that I'm loading it all on there and then put that on that plate. It seems a little bit excessive, but we're just using water so I can just wipe them clean. And it won't be too much hassle. So I did just boil the kettle. So I'm gonna pour that on to this plate and I'm, I'm just gonna wait a minute because I'm not about to burn my fingers off. Okay, I'm not sure how many I'm gonna make. I obviously do have a lot of duck, but I don't plan on using it all. Three for now. So this is what these pancakes look like if you've never seen them before. So what you wanna do is, oh my God, let me make sure I've got everything open so I'm ready to load. Open up the carrots, cucumber there. And I've got like a little bit of lettuce from this Caesar salad bag. Um, these are gonna be the most boring wraps ever, but I can be kind of boring when it comes to food, I'm sorry, but as long as all the flavors are there, and like, I've got the crunch from the lettuce and the cucumber, carrot, duck, chili sauce. I don't have any spring onions, that would have been good. I kind of forgot. Let me know what else would make this good. Like, what else do you put in? Avocado, oh my God, I could put the smashed up. Wait, avocado and duck, like fake duck. I don't know. Let me know your suggestions, what you would also put in this, but this will do for now. So yeah, I'm gonna pop. The rice paper in the water. Okay, I'm gonna take that out. And like I said, I'm gonna pop it on this plate. Oh no! This is the loading, loading plate. Uh oh. Try not to get it to fold over. Oh my god, okay, what should I put in first? Let's put in the carrots first. I don't wanna overload it either. Like a little bit of carrots. Now maybe I'll go in, go in with this duck. I'm so happy with this duck, by the way, you guys. Like, it's so good. Some cucumber, shredded cucumber. Can you see? Shredded cucumber. And then I'm just gonna go in with like a little bit of lettuce. I don't know. I can think of like what else to put in. And that just seems like too little. So we're going in with some lettuce. I, again, don't know if this is gonna make it taste good, but lettuce literally tastes of nothing. It's so lovely. Right, just a little bit on the top. And now you fold it up. So I'm gonna wrap this over and like really tuck it. Can you see? I'm trying to like, how can I get you guys to see? Let me bring you in a little bit closer. Or maybe I'll just zoom in when I'm editing this. Just roll it over. Uh oh, it's split, but tuck, tuck. How good does that look? 
Right, let's switch up the angle now that we're finished. Um, look at them. And I've just put myself a, a dollop of sweet chili. I never know how much to do because I don't want to do too much because then you can't put it back in, back in the bottle. So let's see how far this gets me. Probably not very far. But this looks so good. And I have so much um, duck left over. I'm assuming you can obviously reheat it because it's not actually meat. So I'm assuming this is going to last a while. Well, maybe not a while. I'll ask my sister and see like what she does with this. But I'm assuming I can obviously reheat it because it is just plant-based. Now let's try the taste test. I did two with like more cucumber at the bottom. Oh my God, I'm really excited. I know they're going to taste good. I just know it. They are kind of a funny texture they're quite squishy um okay here we go dunk it in there oh my god that's so good do you know what? i think maybe i'll poison -y dip compliment the duck a bit better but i like sweet chili with so many things so, and i just love the taste anyway guys these are so yummy Definitely recommend, obviously, cucumber and duck go together so well. Like, that's what you get when you do duck and pancakes with the Chinese anyway. It's really nice to have a crunchy texture in there. But I feel like you can add whatever you want in these. Wrap them up. Call it a spring roll. Bob's your uncle. And that fake duck is so good. It has, it, it really does smell and taste like regular duck the only thing and i think i also said this at the beginning of the video the only thing that i can really notice a difference in is the texture but because it's in that wrap with loads of other like crunchy things you can you can't even tell at all this is delicious such a quick and easy lunch dinner like give yourself a fake away chinese type vibes um and i've got so much left over I am so happy with that. My sister will be so happy that I love that. Right, well, I'm going to enjoy this now and watch some Line of Duty, and then we'll be back later. Um, I'll see how I feel after this. This shouldn't fill me up too much. This is one of the only things I've literally eaten today. Um, but we'll be back later for what we're cooking for dinner. But bon the fuck appetite. It is dinner time, and I'm really excited. Um, have, I ever, have I said it on my YouTube yet? I know I said it on my Instagram, beginning of April when it was Jack's birthday. You guys know Jack, um, and he lives with our other best friend, Josh. Um, I bubbled with them just for any inside things. I really haven't been doing anything inside, like just since things started opening up again. It was just nice because they live so close to me. Just if we were gonna do anything inside, I'd bubble with them. And obviously Jack is a vegetarian, and I've just said like, do you guys wanna come around for dinner tonight? Like. Um, I know I said earlier I didn't think I was going to be hungry for dinner, but I'm actually fucking starving. I think it's obviously because I went to PT earlier. But I'm going to make, like, corn spaghetti bolognese with, like, some linguine. I've got some proper, like, bolognese sauce. And we're going to be using corn mince. Like I said, Jack is already a vegetarian, so he was, like, count me in. And Josh is down to try the vegetarian stuff as well. We've actually had this before, and it's so, so good. I'm upset I didn't get any, like, garlic bread. Damn it, I didn't really think that through. But anyway, I'm going to be cooking for them, so I thought that would be fun. I'm literally going to be using up all of this, all of this, and probably all of this. So that kind of helps me out as well. Um, I do love a spag bowl, and especially after I've done a workout. I think I said in a previous video, like, all I want is pasta. Um, so this is going to be so good. I know I've tried corn mints before, but um, we'll get everyone else's reactions as well. But first things first. Do you know what I fancy? Right, so I've just put the hob on. I fancy a glass of red wine. If I ever crave wine, like, on a weekday, we just... Craving wine on a weekday sounds a little bit like Rachel. Perhaps you've got a problem. But um, I do just love, like, a glass of wine with, with food and oh i just i love red wine and i think red wine is actually slightly better for you slightly less sugar um it's like ch dark chocolate isn't it well aren't they meant to complement each other for one but i think it's more just like is red wine good for your heart or have i just made that up maybe it's not like good for your heart but i think it's better for your heart yeah, I'm just in the mood for a glass of red wine and a spag bowl with some cheese. Obviously, if you're doing or maybe trying to be vegan, not the cheese. These take three minutes to cook. Oh, that's not going to take long. Um, in a big hob. So I'm going to fill up my kettle. Does anybody else cheat when it comes to boiling water? Corn mints takes too long either. I think that's the good thing with plant-based things. They just don't take too long. It literally says 
10 minutes or I could microwave it for nine minutes. Microwave it? I don't think. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna cook this. Um, I mean, I'll show you as we go along. Back with the crazy angle again, but I'm literally just, I mean, it's hard to tell with mints like this, but I'm essentially like browning the mint, but I'm just making sure that it's all just kind of de defrosted before I add the sauce in. We're basically nearly there. Then what I'm gonna do is literally pour this whole bolognese over the top. This is the original bolognese. I might also season it with some salt and pepper, of course. Doesn't that look good? I mean, I'll zoom in like in little bits. Doesn't that look good though? It just literally looks like regular mint. So I'm gonna let that simmer and then we can cook. Put the linguine in there. All these in. Might need to top it up with a little bit more water. The boys are here, it's time to serve. I'm scared. What if you hate it? You won't. You had it before. Is it garlic bread? No, I literally said this in my vlog. I was like, I I I fucked up. Like I didn't get the garlic bread. Are you how hungry are you? Oh, literally ravenous. Okay, I'll give you a a nice big portion of pasta then. Say hi. Hi. He was the lobster in my last vlog, if you guys remember. He's a lobster. Oh my God, it looks good. Can come over? No, well you can bring anything to... You might need a bit of a mix. It looks a bit watery. It does. Sorry. I'll just split it between three. Oh. Oh. What? Don't be shy. There we are. Is that enough for you, Bobby? Bobby, it's big portions today. Listen. That's what you're putting down. Ew. Is it nice? Oh, we got gem. I still haven't watched them. Oh, yeah. Oh, I fucking love a slide bowl. But, honestly, you know what? I think the mints and the nuggets, to be fair, the duck I had as well, but they are the best dupes. You can't really tell at all. Look at the them in your bowl. A lot, a lot. Right, well, we're gonna enjoy this, but give it a rating. Oh my God, easy, like a four. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I'm deaf or nine. Okay, you just saying that. I feel like, no, we do love the corn mints. No, see, I'm a simple gal and simple meals like this make my dick hard. Right, well, we'll leave it on that until the next meal. Good morning, I'm back. Also, I tanned last night. I'm feeling a lot better now, darling. Um, yeah, oh my God, spaghetti went down a treat last night. Josh did finish my bowl. It was quite a large portion. Whenever I eat with them, it's always like a huge portion because they both eat so much. I feel like that's just like a boy thing. I'm not complaining. It's a big bowl of pasta, isn't it, darling? But I've literally just got back from another PT session. I always like to eat after these and it's not quite lunchtime yet. I think I am gonna have that Caesar salad today and I'm gonna put that fake duck back in it. I know that's not like super exciting, but I mean, this video is just kind of documenting all the meals that I'm having, no me, um, to give you guys some idea and I don't wanna be wasteful. Also, I had some mints from last night left over as well and I thought maybe I could have a burrito bowl with the mints for dinner, like that would be nice. But um, right now I'm just craving it. I'm sorry, it's the bagel and some avocado. So I swear I got tomatoes in my uh, Tesco order, but <laughs> I don't know where they are. So maybe I didn't. So we're just gonna make some avocado on a toasted bagel for my post workout snack slash breakfast. And I'm in desperate need of a coffee. I feel like this vlog has also consisted of me looking just different in every clip. Like yesterday I was just pale and now I'm tanned. Um, <gasps> wow, she got a big booty, so I call a big booty. You also might be thinking, Rachel, didn't you buy a like crushed avocado dip? And the answer is yeah, I did. Bagels. Um, so therefore, why, why am I using this avocado? And the answer is truly, I don't know. There's just something about that dip and like that crushed avocado that I'm seeing just as a dip. And the fact that I wanna make this smashed avocado myself. So you wanna put your avocado in a bowl. I know there's like oil already in it, so I guess you don't have to add this in. I just personally quite like the taste of extra virgin olive oil. I'm not gonna use a lot at all. This also does make it a little bit more like creamier. 
inconsistency, literally just like a little cap full, half a cap of extra virgin olive oil. And I love this specific brand. Um, I've used it like my whole life. Like my mum loves that um, brand as well. This, I think I may have used it before, again, when I was talking about avocado. It's roasted garlic, salt, onion, pepper, like in a, all grinded up together. So a good few like churns, obviously some salt. Um, crushed chilies, be careful because the cap looks like this and they all just come pouring out. You could add additional onion garlic, but I'm gonna just crush this up. It's a lemon or lime that's meant to complement avocado. Lemon or lime. Let me give this a little. And you know what I think? It's, I think it's this. Honestly. Chef's kiss. Apparently honey is meant to be quite nice with avocado. Not sure if I can take it there just yet because I am a like savory girl through and through. Like brunch, I'm probably gonna get like a savory dish. Yeah, I'm definitely just like, give me a bag of fucking Doritos over a bar of chocolate. I want all the crisps and potatoes and salty, salty things. Obviously no animals were harmed in the making of this avocado toast. And I feel like once you know how to make like good avocado, like to put on your toast, it's not boring. It always tastes amazing. But um, yeah, I feel like, again, my lunch is kind of boring kind of basic too, but I'm still really excited to eat it. Like I'm really excited to eat that duck again and I'm gonna have it in like a Caesar salad. It's gonna be a duck salad, it's gonna be a duck salad, but right, I'm gonna tuck into this and watch Line of Duty with my coffee as well. Back in the kitchen. Um, <laughs> I actually shot some content, but I got a bit cold, so I put this jumper back on, um, which is kind of gross because this is the jumper that I worked out in, but that's me. Um, I'm in the mood for a massive salad with this duck, um, this fake duck, and I don't know whether to reheat it or not. So what? I think it's nice and cold. I'm gonna try and do like a bit of a Kardashian moment. I feel like this bowl's a little bit too small, but I'm gonna take like all of this lettuce from this Caesar salad bag. Like I'm just gonna pop it like all, is there a way I can tilt this down so you can see? Like I'm gonna put it all in this bowl and I'm gonna do like that thing where they like shake it all up. Ew, that kind of looks a bit gross. But you put it all in the bowl like that and then obviously you add in your croutons. I mean, that is not many croutons at all, but hey ho. Um, a bit of cheese. Right, let's add the cheese on. Obviously if you're doing vegan, don't add the cheese. And I'm pretty sure like so many places sell like a vegan Caesar dressing. <laughs> Again, no idea how this is gonna taste with the duck, but the duck is just good. So I'm hoping this is gonna be delish. Can I rip that open? I didn't think I can. Oh, yes. Right, and then I'm just gonna literally <laughs> put all of this on the top. Put the lid on. And you're meant to like shake it around. Ah! Oh my God, maybe actually secure the lid. Okay. Did it do anything? Uh, well, no. Like literally, I'm in the mood for like the biggest salad. That is literally what I wanted. A crunchy, creamy Caesar salad. You know when you just, I've literally been thinking about this since being at the gym. I was like, that is really what I want. I want that Caesar salad packet. And I'm gonna eat it all. I was in the mood for iceberg lettuce. And it's duck. Thought it'd be a bit weird without the chicken. But it's not. So, so good. We'll be back for dinner. Can't think what I want for dinner, to be honest. And Josh gave me an idea. Because the weather's not great at the moment here in Manchester. I feel like a lot of people aren't gonna be going out as much this week. And obviously, businesses are still trying to pick their feet up. So I actually might order from like a specific vegetarian, vegan restaurant and try and try something like that. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do that tonight, but I still wanna support local businesses um, and especially like vegan and vegetarian ones. I feel like they're slightly less popular. Although in Manchester, I feel like everyone's actually a vegetarian. Don't know why that is, but um, yeah, I, I feel like this week I still wanna, if I'm not going out, I still wanna support the local businesses and maybe order something and that'll be fun. If you guys are in Manchester, I'd love to put you on to like a new 
vegan, vegetarian, like takeaway type thing. Um, if you guys want to try that too. But yeah, I'm going to tuck in to my, my version. Obviously it's a salad. Oh gosh. It's not very street, is it? Hang on. Hang on, we're in a different location. We're at Jack's this evening, um, because we both just text each other and said, I've got no dinner. I mean, I've got food, but the food that I wanted to cook, I want like cucumber and salad for, but I kind of, I've eaten it all. So I need to go out and get some more of that tomorrow. So, you know, I think I actually said earlier in the vlog that one night this week, I wanted to order like a vegetarian something from like a local business type thing to still support them even though we're not going out because the weather's fucking pants. So that's what we're gonna do. And me and Jack are doing that because yeah, we both have no dinner and he's actually the expert. And he told me about this place called Wholesome Junkies Vegan. I've tried a little bit before. What did you get before? The salt and pepper chicken. It's so good. It tastes exactly like- Dude, like even texture-wise. Yeah, even the texture, it tastes so good. So Jack's gonna guide me through the menu, but you guys, it sounds so good. There's a truffle burger, a truffle chicken burger. So it's kind of like, it is kind of unhealthy, yeah? Like, mm. I mean, it's why do I just immediately think that vegan and vegetarian food is just like, oh my God, even if it's a no, vegan it's burger, it's, it's healthy. It's wholesome, yep. but junk food. Yeah, so it's kind of like vegetarian, vegan, junk food. Their chips are really good. Yeah, the salt and pepper chicken bites. Um, they have like truffle mac and cheese, but it's all vegan and vegetarian. So that's what we're doing for dinner. I'm very excited. And um, yeah, I'll let you know when we order and what we actually end up ordering and we'll do a, we'll do a mini mukbang. A mini mukbang. And by mukbang, I mean like one bite each. All right guys, this is what we've gone for. I've tried some of these chicken bites previously and they're so good. And Jack does keep saying that like apparently everything from here is just amazing. And we've kind of gone a little bit overboard. I'm telling myself it's for the vlog and I'm trying to let you guys know. So, you know, obviously I'm gonna try as much as possible from the menu without, you know, overdoing it. So we've got some chicken bites, just some regular fries. We couldn't decide between regular fries and truffle tots, so obviously we got both. <laughs> um, I got a classic, but... Paper, paper. <laughs> um, I got a classic burger. I did want a chicken burger, but the only chicken burger they had was a truffle chicken burger, which does sound nice, but... Too much truffle literally gives me diarrhea, so forget it. <laughs> and we're having truffle tots. And Jack did get, in fact, the truffle burger, so good luck. Santa's love diarrhea. Good luck, right? I'll show you when it arrives, but this looks so fucking good already. It's good. Are you ready? That's obviously yours. Oh no, truffle tots. Okay, wait, hang on. Wait, you sit down. Oh. Come on, you can be in it. Do you, do you need a plate? Yo, ah! Uh, Maybe just forks. I'll leave mine out the box. I won't give you any washing up. I need you to be here. Can I, let me just look at these truffle tarts. <gasps> oh my fat! Look at them. Oh my God, Jack. Yeah. I'm gonna eat one. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they are so good. They could be a little crispier. But the fact that that's all vegan, like cheese and stuff. Wow, that's good. Okay, that's past the test. Oh, chicken. chicken. <gasps> okay, so this is what the. Oh my god, I forgot they come with pickles. Oh, I love the fact. Okay, these are the chicken bites. I hate pickles. Eat a chicken bite. Oh. Why do I think they were salt and pepper chicken bites? Oh. Mm hmm It's chicken, but it's not. No chicken bees were harmed, but I do love, he likes pickles. Mm -hmm. That's so good. Fries. These are just chips, guys, but look how good the chips are. Classic, look at that Oh my hearts. God. I think this is my favourite place in Manchester. Those chips are so good. There's nothing special about them, but... Wait, where's your burger? Fun. Did you get the, the truffle one? Yeah. Let me see it now. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh my God, look at it. <laughs> oh. Stop. 
Oh my god. No one can see. Oh. Oh my fuck. Wait, should we take a bite? Yeah. Okay, wait. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. I know. Like how much does a beef look like beef? What? It's all over you. Yeah. Wholesome junkies. junkies. Ten this out of ten. Literally my favourite place in my That's amazing. I'm sorry. It's the truffle tops for me. How? It's just truffle in general, man. No, but... Right? Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. We're in Manchester. Wholesome junkyard. Junkyard golf. Wholesome <laughs> junkyard. Junkies. Wholesome junkies for the mm -hmm. vegan food. Right. Which is? But it's not like... Are you imagine vegan food? No, it's actually normal. Which I love. Yeah, it's not scary. We're gonna enjoy the. Yeah, I'll focus. Oh well. We're gonna enjoy this. Watch a movie. But this is a fucking good shout. Definitely. Definitely. Good morning. Let's make a smoothie bowl. I've woke up this morning. I'm actually really hungry. That vegan junk food last night. I am like that was amazing. Um, TMI, but. It didn't give me the shits, like most junk food would. Like I'd wake up probably feeling either like one really full and just really like, ugh, like about what I ate last night. I feel I'm actually hungry this morning. Um, right, we're gonna make a smoothie bowl. I love this so much. It's it's so easy to make and I feel like it, it's a little bit of a treat because we are gonna be using like some chocolate chips. Um, I do use dark chocolate chips, but essentially you're just gonna be making a smoothie, but you're gonna like minimize the liquid. So it's like a thick smoothie. So I like to pre-freeze like bananas. I know they look brown, but it's just because they're frozen. Um, pre-freeze bananas. I've got a berry smoothie mix from Tesco. I also like to chop up a banana. Uh, this is like a good size banana. <coughs> anyway, um, I like to chop up a banana and not actually put that in the smoothie, but just like have it on the top to make it look nice. Um, I have some granola. This is the Simply Granola because it's got no nuts in it. Um, I do also add some vanilla 0% fat yogurt to my smoothie blend, because it does need some liquid to be able to blend it, otherwise it's it's not gonna blend. Um, so I kind of go like that so it stays thickums. Add some granola, sliced banana, and a few jumbo choc chips. Um, so yeah, let me like show you things as we go. Sorry, sorry, forgot to also say I add in some berry flavored protein this is just from a brand called functional foods i just saw it in tesco's it's also vegan didn't realize that just so i can get my protein in um because i am working out a lot um i still need to keep up my protein and the fact that i'm being vegetarian this week um i mean my protein is still high but obviously not as high as if i was eating like actual meat and then also i add the vital proteins collagen peptides into this as well uh i got sent this i read about it, it looked really good and I suddenly thought, so many people are like commenting like on my skin and my face and um, I got a comment on my recent picture being like, have you had, you know, facial, like what have you done to your face type thing? And I was like, well, obviously I included in that vlog that I had that Morpheus 8 treatment and I've been using my gua sha, but that's it. So I was like, unless the gua sha is really like working like on this, I've not had any filler in my face for ages. And then I forgot I've been using this. And obviously it's got collagen in it. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, I've just put that fruit in there. I'm gonna add um, the frozen bananas. Ooh, they're kind of squishy. Pour my yogi in so it can blend. Also, tell you who I saw promoting this, Jennifer Aniston. We all know she looks amazing. So, I mean, she is also a billionaire. So I'm sure she's getting other things done, but she was promoting that brand. Vital proteins, collagen peptides. She was having it in her tea. I saw it on Instagram. It's good enough for Jenny. It's good enough for me. And then, yeah, a little bit of this berry protein in there. Right, so you've got your bowl. Should kind of look like this. Oh, she's 
thick. Oh! There we go. <laughs> Literally, that's kind of exactly what you want it to look like. And then just add whatever you want on the top. I just kind of add like a big bit of granola. This is kind of like, this fills me up until like the middle of the afternoon, like for sure. Um, and it satisfies my sweet cravings. Add my banana and some chalk chips. Essentially, the bowl just looks like, I can't really, hang on. The bowl just sort of looks like this. You know, and then the beauty of it all, just mix it all up. You've got your smoothie, granola, banana, dark chalky chips. It really just is one big <laughs> bowl of deliciousness. So yummy. Oh, it's a bit cold. Oh, did I just get that on my forehead? Yeah, <laughs> yes, I did. Right, but I'm gonna eat that. Made my coffee. I wanted to wait to stir it for you guys. That sound is better than sex, I swear. Right, I feel like this has actually kind of worked out well. I think the last thing I filmed was obviously that smoothie bowl. And if I'm being completely honest with you guys, um, it's been, it's like actually like a couple of days later, but it's lunchtime, so it's still transitions and it's still like a meal that I'm having. I just honestly have had a very overwhelming past couple of days with just like a lot of work and deadlines and things being like switched around and I've suddenly then got to like rearrange my life to suit, you know, it's like brand work and deals and, and stuff like that. And I just, if I'm not gonna lie, didn't really have time to make any food or anything like that. I obviously still like ate, but it was nothing that I thought was worth vlogging really, sometimes life just gets in the way. But this is gonna be the last thing that I film and it's super fun and I love things like this and I'm feeling, I'm feeling a lot better now, darling. I've literally just got my nails done, French tips, pink and orange vibes, like, I'm trying to like be a little bit more relaxed today and actually like enjoy cooking some food. So I'm gonna make like a burrito bowl still with the mints that we had the other night. It's because it's like vegetable based. I'm sure it's gonna be absolutely fine to still eat. You know, I'm sure it's fine. I've got some rice. I've got some black beans. I've got another avocado. I also think I said I needed to go to the shop and get, um, you know, salad -y bits anyway, because I'd run out. And because I've been so overwhelmed with work, I literally didn't even have time to do that until like yesterday. So I got another cucumber. I don't actually think cucumbers go in burrito bowls, but I just love cucumber. I've got a tomato and some red onion to make kind of like a salsery thing, some sour cream. And yeah, I don't have any shredded lettuce. This is just gonna be my version of like a burrito bowl to like fill me up. Again, using my like Amazon thing, but this time we're gonna use the setting that like, dices things um so it's all gonna look really cute in the bowl so obviously all we do with the mints is just heat that up again with the rice i really love the uncle ben's egg fried rice i know that's not very like mexican burrito bowl vibe but the flavor of this just tastes so good these apparently are best in the microwave as well so that's all in the microwave so we're like all there is to do is dice and chop and just sort out the veg. So let me just grab my red onion. Aww, it's a small baby. Um, let's chop off this. Anyone have any hacks about peeling a red onion for crying out loud? Anyway, so all I do is just take like a big slice like that, pop it on top of the dicer, slam it through, and it's done. So I think I'm gonna do like a few rounds of that. Literally, this is like lazy girl dream. Okay, because this is a small onion, I'm gonna do one more. Look, perfectly diced red onion. And now I'm gonna do the same with, same with the cucumber. Tomato time, slices like this. Honestly, I thought this was such a ridiculous thing to get from Amazon, but who the fuck? is laughing now. Oh my God, I've literally got like plenty. Like look how satisfying that is. It's all just like nicely diced. So I'm gonna leave that there. I'm now gonna make my guac again. I literally included that the other day. I had avocado on toast, didn't I? I'm literally gonna do exactly the same with this. Um, microwave everything else and then let me show you the finished result. Guys, I'm not being funny. How good does this look? I realized after I made it, it needs cheese. 
But the boys rinsed me of my cheese the other night when we had this with, you know, um, the spag bar with the mints. Um, they rinsed me of the cheese. So, yay. But um, this looks so good just like without it anyway. I mean, I mixed the beans in with the mints. So good. And I know when I mix this all together, it's gonna look amazing. I kinda wanna take a picture of it before I mix it all up. Yummy, right, well I'm gonna tuck into this. Um, but this is gonna be the end of the video because I'm not gonna be doing anything tonight and I want this video to go up tomorrow so when you're watching it Sunday and you're watching it right now. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry it was a little bit like all over the place. I feel like I wanted to do a lot more like cooking, cooking than I actually ended up doing but sometimes you know life just gets in the way and I started filming this video so I obviously wanted to finish it and include as much as I physically and possibly could um, but I hope I gave you guys some fun meal ideas and I'm not even joking I've not missed meat at all and it's actually settled like my stomach's actually been a lot better without getting TMI like my stomach's been a lot better I've loved every single meal that I've had especially that wholesome junkies like takeaway food that was so good and left me feeling like not sick or bloated or just feeling a bit like ugh, the next day like i honestly think if you've been thinking about it definitely give it a go or if like there's just certain aspects maybe not cutting meat out completely if that's just like out of the question for you but substitutes like this like this corn mince you cannot even tell the difference and i swear with the right seasonings and sauces it tastes exactly the same and you can't tell the difference and if it means that no animals were harmed while having it I don't know why you wouldn't. I feel like I was always in that mentality of just like, well, I'm not gonna make a difference by just me doing it. But if we can all, all do our bit to make a difference, then I don't know why we wouldn't when it tastes this good as well. Let me know if there's any other kind of like food related videos you wanna see from me at the moment. I feel like it's been a while since I've done a food related one. And this one was super fun to film actually. And really like, has got me motivated and excited about cooking again, which, I've missed and I think was needed. But yeah, drop your video suggestions in the comment section down below. Let me know if you try being vegetarian for a week and if you try any of these meals and how you get on. But yeah, I'm gonna tuck into this and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.